Hello there Capricorn. Welcome to your messages from spirit. This is timeless reading. So whenever you have to come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. And I did do some, um, when I meditate, I channel some messages. It's only a couple messages and it's only going to be for a couple people. Sorry about that, but that's, that's the way it goes. But someone that really wanted a message to get to someone is, um, someone just received their license and your dad is very proud of you. So you Someone's fathers have passed over, has seen that, and wants to let the person know that they know that they did it. And then the other one is, um, the new kitchen looks good. It's a better color. And the last one I have is, um, the angel in the cloud was sent by me because someone, I guess, was looking at the clouds and noticed the an angel figure. And they said, oh, I wonder if that's from um, so-and-so thinking about me and they're saying yes that was sent from I guess you guys probably had something going on with angels or something like that you both were into the angels I don't know but I'm just relaying the messages I hope that makes some people feel better now let's start with your reading what's coming in for you guys what is coming in these cards get stuck okay let's see we do have wombat spirit be at home. Okay. So feel at home wherever you are. Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibilities. This card, I've been, I've been shoveling these. This card has been coming up a lot. So that's great. And vulture spirit comes up a lot too. Nothing is wasted. Okay. So it's saying that whatever you went through, you had to go through it. It might have felt like a waste of time. Maybe something took too long, but it, it wasn't. It was way supposed to be. And then we have badger spirit. Be fearless and bold. Okay, so it, I feel like someone might be starting a new job or something. They said, feel at home. It's all going to work out. I think you just got to get acclimated and you're going to be fine here. And then, um, yeah, there's infant possibilities coming in too. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify. A little easier once I start clarifying. Wombat spirit. Okay, why do we have the wombat spirit for Capricorn? We have King of Cups. Okay, Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. This is very interesting reading. This person is like lifting their head way up to see things. It almost feels like, you know, you know, the King of Cups is very emotional, has a lot of emotions, a lot of um, feelings about something. Someone might be very emotional at home or they're feeling, I almost feel like someone's feeling like someone feels home to them, but they're also like looking beyond something here with this King of Cups. Very interesting card. Oh, I should show it to you guys. See, it's very interesting with me, sure. I'm looking at a very, very tiny little screen here, so I really can't see how well I'm showing you this, but there you go. Okay, now, why is the starfish spirit here? We have four of cups. Okay, so there's an offer coming in for you. You know, the, what I'm feeling here is that a lot of times when you get the Four of Cups, it looks like, oh, it doesn't seem like that great of an offer or something. You're not really sure. Don't let this offer pass you by because something's coming into it. It's going to be a lot better than you think because then we have there. This is clarifying. It's open to infinite possibilities. It can grow. It can be much more. It can expand. Okay, now the Vulture Spirit where nothing is wasted. Let's see. We have... The Queen of Swords, okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So the Queen of Swords, this could be your energy or someone coming in towards you. Maybe someone helps you to realize that um, that there's more to, I, I keep on feeling something like there's more to something than you think. And the Queen of Swords is over here, you know, here showing like an x-ray of themselves, but showing the back view. So looking at things at all different angles, I would say. Queen of Swords is, um, now, wants the truth, too. Wants to make sure that things are correct. Bono deck we're here. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. Yeah, I think you're f doing a lot of soul searching. Find out with something within. Feeling very connected to something here. Okay, now, what aren't you seeing? Hmm, card being a little, little sticky here. There's a sticky energy I'm feeling. Someone, someone feels a little sticky. <laughs> and I don't think it's, I think it's a Capricorn. I think it's someone else. Okay, let's see. Throat chakra. Okay. Throat chakra. You might have to speak. You, um, something's coming up here where maybe you might have to speak in public. Confront. Oh, yeah. You have to speak up to someone. Confront them. That's what the throat chakra is saying. Because this is communication. 
Okay, and then we have teach. Ooh, you might have to. Okay, this is what you're not seeing. You might there might be someone coming towards you, and you might have to confront them. Speak up. You might have to teach them. Teach them something here. Okay, and then you're coming together here. This is almost like I don't know. It's like a two of cups, but there's a coming together. And you're going to be teaching this person something, or they're going to be teaching you. But this is something you're not expecting, something you're not seeing. Okay, so let's clarify this. Why do we have the throat chakra here? What is going on with this? Eight emotions. So this is eight of cups. Someone's walking away from something to speak their truth. Or maybe it might... Oh, I feel like I have to sneeze. Hmm. I came out of nowhere. Okay, or going towards something to speak. Oh, oh my God. <coughs> I'm sorry. I feel like someone has something going on here. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not like... They have any pepper or anything. I don't know why I feel like I have to sneeze out of nowhere. Okay, so eight of emotions. Um, yeah, so walking away from something to something better. Speaking your truth, though. Expressing yourself. Hmm. Okay, what about this confront? Why do we have this confront here? Six of material. This would be six of pentacles. Confronting someone about doing their fair share or um, helping you somehow. This is um, this is what you're not seeing. Maybe someone's going to come towards you and speak about that. Take it how it resonates because this is trying to be in balance here. Six of material is like the six of pentacles. What about the teach? Why do we have the teach card? What's going on with the teach? Some of you could be teachers. And we have, oh, we have the muse of emotions. So here it is. This would be the king of, uh, of cups here. So we have the king of cups here and we have the king of cups here. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming in really strong. You might be teaching them something. They might be teaching you something. This is coming together to maybe be behave. Because you got the coming together card too. So this is like coming together to um, try to... Someone's teaching someone, and you're not expecting this. Ooh, we got the Queen of Inspiration. Queen of Wands. Passion. Desire. So something's coming together that's going to teach you something. Something's going to balance things out of your emotions and your desires. Queen of Inspiration. Someone, someone could be very attractive to you, too. Okay, now we're going to do three cards of each one of these to see what we get. But what do you need to know? So, let's see. What do you need to know? Start with these three, and then we'll clarify with these three and see what comes out. See if these are stuck together or not. Yep, these really get stuck on me. Okay, Snake Spirit. Time to heal. Know your worth. And take the lead. Ooh, you might be taking the lead to teach someone something here. Okay, and we have... Canary spirit, sing your own song. You know, with the throat shock, I started to think about someone might be a singer. Someone might be um, expressing themselves. Okay, so now for the time to heal. Let's see, why do we have this time to heal? Well, again, I did backwards. Sorry, I don't like to do back. I don't, I'm always looking down at the table and not looking when I'm shuffling. I'm, I'm sorry when I pick them up. Oh, upside down like that. Time to heal. We have four of wands. Okay, this is nice. You're healing things to bring to bed. This might be a commitment. You might be trying to heal a commitment, a connection here. It looks really good. Okay. Now, what about know your worth? Three of swords. Okay, I feel like someone hurt you. And you're standing up for yourself. You're saying, I'm not taking this. I know my worth. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, whatever happened here, whoever hurt you, you're not, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to take their, their crap. Plain and simple. It could have been a third party in a situation. doesn't have to be, but it could be someone came in between you guys, but it's also, it feels just like pain. I don't, I'm not really feeling third party. I feel like someone attacked you or someone said something and you know your worth and you're confronting them. And we have here the Ten of Cups. Take the lead. It's going to lead you to your happiness here. Here's a wish fulfillment here. This is the Nine of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So you're going to be very happy by taking this lead. This is going to be something that you need to do. And you're going to be very happy you did. And then we have the High Priestess. Ooh. Virgo. Um, 
cancer energy. You're going to be unveiling, um, unveiling something. Yeah, there's something that's going to be revealed here. There's something that's hidden that you are going to be able to expose at this time. You weren't able to do it before. It might be during the Mercury retrograde because things do come out during that time. Let's see what else we have for you. Heal. See, we have a heal card. Time to heal, heal. You are healing from whatever happened here. This is, um, these are nice cards. And you're standing up for yourself. Okay, opportunity beckons. Nice. And then we have rebuild. You can rebuild a connection, your faith, and you're coming into balance. I like that. Okay. So, yeah, things are starting to fall into place. If you feel a little out of balance, there's things happening here. Because here... There's infinite possibilities. Opportunity beckons. There's things coming in for you. And we didn't have the Four of Cups before. So it's like, yeah, the Four of Cups. Pay attention to what comes in for you. Let me just want to make sure. See, there's no nine of materials. There's no Empress. It's, every time I'm doing this card, I know the Empress on, on the bottom. And the Empress has been on the bottom when I'm done. So it's been really freaking me out <laughs> how it keeps on happening. Okay, so this Heal card. I like this card. 17. That could be like the star card, too. Let's see. Okay, now we have the Muse of Material. You might be healing a connection with the Earth sign. Or this is also could be saying you're healing your finances, your stability here. Things are coming into play here that looks really good. So with the Muse of Material, that, that's the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> All right. Tickle. I think someone wants to speak to you. Yeah, they're a little nervous, too. Also, I got a real nervous energy when I started coughing. Opportunity beckons. Let's see. We have the devil here. Capricorn energy. This is your energy. So this, I feel like this is what it's saying, that opportunities beckon for you. There's something coming in towards you. So be, be ready for it. And it's going to help you to heal here, whatever this opportunity is. And the rebuild. What are we rebuilding? Let's see. Why do we have rebuild? Rebuilding. Hmm. Ten of voices. Okay, so you're rebuilding from an ending here. The ten of voices is like the ten of swords. Something has ended. Something actually had to come completely down. It's like almost, this almost feels like could have been a tower. That you had to end something in order to rebuild. It's like you had to, you couldn't like leave it hanging or be sort of sort of there it had to end and now you're rebuilding and we have here the four of materials hanging on to something i feel very comfortable with this card too it feels like um you're hanging on for to this new balance that you're that's coming in for you this feeling more complete um especially tap into your high priestess i think some of you might really be getting into more into spiritual stuff Okay, let's see what messages we have for you. What are the messages? Now, these are messages that I have cha channeled from my guides and angels a while back. And um, let's see what messages need to come out for you guys. Okay, we have... Remember to ask your angels and guides for help when you need it. They cannot help you if you do not ask. And don't forget to thank them. Okay, let's get another one. And we have... This is... A good time to learn something new you will pick it up the information quickly and you will retain the information you have learned nice okay trust in it I feel like someone said no I don't retain the information at this time if you feel that way at this time you will and whatever it is it's also because you're excited about it you'll remember it there are others involved that you are not aware of this time the outcome is destined so whatever's come in for you there might be, maybe you had to wait, like this is saying, going back to this time was not wasted. Other people were involved. That's why it took longer. And it's all going to come together. And now we have here, someone truly loves you and will do anything for you, but they fear you do not feel the same way about them. They are trying to figure out how they can find out the truth about how you truly feel about them. So someone might be inquiring about you at this time because they're interested in you okay guys now remember this is a general reading it's not a personal reading take what resonates leave what doesn't um and please let me know if anything resonates please leave 
comments. I love, I read all your comments and I do apply, apply, ooh, reply to them. See, I'm having a hard time with these readings with getting my words out correctly. So whoever I'm channeling, it feels like a different energy too. It, it feels like um, it's, it's a little jagged or something. So um, that's the way it's coming out with me too. All right. So um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.